Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our heart and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. And now we're ready to begin. And today we're going to do The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle with some extra fun bits to make it more fun for yoga. It's going to be great. We begin our story in the light of the full moon. Coming up to stand, take your legs wide and your arms wide, making yourself as big as you can be. Now in this lovely full moon, we find a little egg lying on a leaf. Coming all the way down to your knees, and tuck yourself up into a tiny little egg shape. One Sunday morning, the sun came up and the little egg went pop. Coming up to crouch, after three, let's do a big pop jump into the air. Ready? One, two, three, pop! Yay, well done everyone! And out wiggled a very little and very hungry caterpillar. Lying on your belly, hands under your shoulders, point your toes. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. He looked all around, looking for something to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I could find something to eat. But he couldn't find anything. So he huddled back onto his little leaf and he fell back to sleep again. On Monday, the sun came up again. And the little hungry caterpillar wiggled forwards onto your bellies, everybody, onto his knees, looking for something to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I could find something to eat. When along came a very happy little dog. Tuck your toes and lift your bottoms up to the sky. Woof, 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 woof. The little dog gave the hungry caterpillar one apple. And after thanking him, the hungry caterpillar sat with his legs wide. He leant all the way forwards and he ate up the apple. <laughs> After eating it, he rubbed a hand on his tummy and he patted his head at the same time. Mmm, that was tasty. But the little hungry caterpillar was still hungry. So he wiggled back onto his little leaf, tucking yourself up again into a tiny little ball to fall back to sleep. On Tuesday, coming up to sit, the sun came up again and wiggling forward onto his leaf, the hungry caterpillar came out looking for something to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I could find something to eat. When along came a horse. Coming up onto one knee, everyone, lift your arms above your head. The horse gave the hungry caterpillar two pears. And after thanking the horse, the hungry caterpillar sat with his legs in butterfly pose, practicing for later, joining the soles of your feet together. Sit up tall and flutter your wings. He leant all the way forwards to eat up the two pears. After eating them, he sat up, rubbed a hand on his tummy and patted his head at the same time. Mmm, that was tasty. But the hungry caterpillar was still hungry. So he huddled himself back up onto his leaf and he fell back to sleep again. On Wednesday, the hungry caterpillar woke again and wiggled forward onto his leaf, onto your bellies. Wiggle, 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 looking for something to eat. Mmm, I'm so hungry. I wish I could find something to eat. When along came a cat, coming up onto all fours, everybody, hands under your shoulders. Meow, meow. And the cat gave the hungry caterpillar three plums. After thanking the cat, the hungry caterpillar sat with his legs out long. He leant all the way forwards to eat up the three plums. Oh. <laughs> 
After eating the plums, he rubbed a hand on his tummy and patted his head at the same time. Mmm, they were tasty. But the hungry caterpillar was still hungry. So he huddled back onto his little leaf and he fell back to sleep again. On Thursday, the sun came up again, and the hungry caterpillar wiggled forward onto his leaf. Wiggle, 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 looking for something to eat again. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I could find something to eat. When along came a camel. Coming up high onto your knees, tuck your toes, hands on your hips, press your hips forward, roll your shoulders back and lift your heart to the sky. The camel blew a raspberry <laughs> and afterwards gave the hungry caterpillar four strawberries. After thanking him, the hungry caterpillar sat with his legs in turtle pose. Take your legs in front of you and bend your knees. Take your hands down in the middle and wiggle them under your legs like turtle flippers. The hungry caterpillar ate up the four strawberries. <laughs> After eating the strawberries, the hungry caterpillar rubbed a hand on his tummy and patted his head at the same time. Oh, that was so tasty. But the hungry caterpillar was still hungry. So he huddled back onto his little leaf, tucking himself up to fall back to sleep. On Friday, the sun came up again, and the hungry caterpillar wiggled forward onto his leaf. Wiggle, 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 looking for something to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I could find something to eat. When along came a dinosaur. Coming up to stand, take your feet wide and hold on to your ankles. Here we go. Clump, 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 clump. The dinosaur gives the hungry caterpillar five oranges. And after thanking him, the hungry caterpillar sits down in boat pose, lifting up one leg, lifting up two, lifting up one hand, lifting up no hand, give me a wave, to eat all five of the oranges. Ready? Mmm. He sits with his legs crossed, rubbing a hand on his tummy, patting his head at the same time as he says, Mmm, they were tasty. But the hungry caterpillar was still hungry. So he huddled back onto his little leaf, tucking himself up into a tiny little ball to go back to sleep again. On Saturday, the hungry caterpillar was rolling around on his leaf. Lying on your back, take your arms out wide and lift your knees. Roll your knees over to one side and take your head over to the other. Then swap sides, lifting your legs over to the other side and your head to the opposite. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I could find something to eat. When along came a lion. Coming up to sit everybody on your knees. The lion gives the hungry caterpillar a big friendly roar. Ready? After three. One, two, three. <laughs> and he gives the hungry caterpillar lots and lots of food. The hungry caterpillar is so excited, he decides to make himself a ginormous sandwich. Sitting with your legs out long, he butters his bread. Hands to your middle. Here we go. Butter, butter, butter. Butter, butter, butter. Then he fills his sandwich with all of the amazing fillings that the lion gave him. Twisting one way for one slice of chocolate cake. Ooh. Twisting the other way for... One ice cream cone. Ooh. Twisting again. Four. One pickle. Ooh. Twisting the other way. For one slice of Swiss cheese. Ooh. Twisting again. For one slice of salami. Ooh. Twisting again. For 
one lollipop. Mmm. Twisting again for one piece of cherry pie. Mmm. Twisting again for one sausage. Mmm. Twisting again for one cupcake. Mmm. And twisting again for one slice of watermelon. He reaches up, bending his knees a little bit to put the top slice of bread on his sandwich. Mm. Then, crossing his legs, he folds all the way forwards to get hold of the ginormous sandwich and eat it all up. And after eating it, mm, the little hungry caterpillar doesn't feel very well. Ooh. And later that night, he gets a dreadful tummy ache. He rocks and he rolls, holding onto your knees. Squash a tomato under your chin and then rock and roll. Here we go. Whoop. Ooh. And again. Whoop. Ooh. The poor hungry caterpillar decides to phone the doctor. Sitting with your legs out long, he picks up the phone and dials the number. Beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 boop, boop. Oh, hello, Doctor. It's the very hungry caterpillar. Oh, you'll ring me back. OK, OK. Speak in a minute. Bye. The Doctor's going to ring him back. Ring, ring. There he is. Let's answer the other telephone. Uh, hello, it's the hungry caterpillar here. How can I help you? Oh, hello, Doctor. Thanks for phoning me back. Oh, yes, I've got a dreadful tummy ache. Oh, go to bed and not eat unhealthy foods. OK, I'll try that. Thank you very much, Doctor. Bye. He puts the phone down and he takes the doctor's advice, lying himself down in his bed to rest and get over his horrible tummy ache after eating that ginormous sandwich. On Sunday, the hungry caterpillar wakes up again and decides today that he's going to eat something healthy. He finds himself a big, beautiful tree coming up to stand. Bring one foot on top of the other and your hands together at your heart. Grow your tree up nice and tall and open your arms, making beautiful, wonderful leaves. Very good, everyone. The hungry caterpillar climbs up the tree. Ready? Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. He finds himself a delicious leaf folding all the way forwards and lifting it up and he eats it. Mmm. And after eating it, the hungry caterpillar doesn't feel any hungry anymore. But when he looks down at himself, he sees that he's not a little caterpillar anymore. No, he's a big, fat caterpillar. Shove your feet wide, arms wide. Oh, he decides to do some exercises. He does some running on the spot. He does some jumping up and down. Boing, 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 boing. He swishes and stretches like a windmill. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. Swish, swing, swish, swing, swish, swing. And he decides to do some silly dancing. After all of that, he builds himself a cocoon. Coming down onto your bellies, everyone. Bring your feet towards your bottom and reach around to grab your ankles. Then breathe in as you lift up and lift yourself like a lovely little cocoon. Now the hungry caterpillar stays in his cocoon for more than two weeks. And after that time, he starts to nibble through it. He uses his legs to kick. Take your feet down and your hands down. Come up onto all fours and lift your bottom. Step one foot forwards and do a little kick. Whoop. And again. Whoop. And then he wiggles out to find himself a beautiful, stunning, rainbow-coloured butterfly. Joining the soles of your feet together, hold on to your feet and flutter your amazing wings. He shows off the colours on one wing. One, two, three. And the other. One, two, three. And can he show both together? One, two, three. Wow! Wow, well done, everyone. 
After that, after pretending to be the little hungry caterpillar turning into a butterfly, we feel ready to take a little rest. So we lie ourselves down all the way back and we put one hand on our tummy and one hand on our chest. We take some deep breaths and we think about this funny story of the hungry caterpillar and what he learnt along the way. Certainly he learnt a lot about eating. But there are lots of foods to try in the world. And there are some that taste nice in our mouth, but our body isn't so happy about them. And usually our bodies will tell us. That's why we get a little tummy ache. But if we eat natural foods, then we often feel good. Just like the hungry caterpillar eating his leaf. Then his body felt amazing. And so did his mind. And he was able to grow into a beautiful butterfly. We rest here. And then it's time for us to start to wake. We wiggle our toes our fingers and we hug our knees into our chest we roll onto our sides and we come up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts and we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word which is namaste ready after three one two three namaste well done, everyone. Thanks for doing the story of the very hungry caterpillar with me. You were great. I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye.